Hi, I'm Sheldon Cheskis, Medical Director, Sunnybrook Center for Pre-Hospital Medicine. Survival from out-of-hospital cardiac arrest requires a choreographed sequence of events. Good bystander CPR, good dispatcher-assisted CPR, and more importantly, excellent quality of CPR during a resuscitation, including short perishock pauses, good compression rate, minimizing interruptions, and good compression depth. The following video is going to illustrate all those concepts and introduce a new exciting concept in terms of treatment of patients and refractory ventricular fibrillation, the concept of double sequential external defibrillation. Hi there, Rick Verbeek, also a medical director at the Sunnybrook Center for Pre-Hospital Medicine and uh, one of Shell's buddies. Uh, so what we thought we would do today um, is to illustrate uh, a case report that we recently published in the pre-hospital emergency care journal that shows what happened during a successful resuscitation using double sequential external defibrillation or DSED as we, as we call it now. There have been a number of case reports and case series talking about DSED but uh, we recently had a successful resuscitation and the video that you're about to see will illustrate largely what happened during that case. We realized that there are different ways to apply DSED and we show only one way. Beyond DSED though, this video is meant to illustrate all the other good things that happened during this cardiac arrest resuscitation including dispatcher assisted CPR, good bystander CPR, good chest compressions, short pre-shock pause intervals, and great teamwork. We hope you enjoy the video and we hope you learn something about how to apply DSED in your service once it's approved by your medical director. Toronto Ambulance, where do you need us? Okay, tell me exactly what happened. He works with me. Hi, uh, stop moving. What do you want me to do now? I'm sending the paramedics to help now. Stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Yeah, I got him on the floor. We're going to pump the chest hard and fast at least twice per second. Okay. Count out loud with me so I can count with you. One, two, three, four. 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 My name is Anna. This is my partner, Brian. What is your name? I'm Brian. I'm Martin. Who is this person to you? Uh, he works in my office with me. Stop CPR. Keep talking. Confirming uh, pulselessness. He works with me. Uh, he stopped moving. He called 911 and, and uh, they told me to start doing uh, Patient is CPR. VSA. Okay, I'm ready to shock. Everyone stand clear. Clear? All clear. Shocking. Back on the chest, please. Okay. Let's call a second unit. We've yep. got a 42-year-old male, witnessed cardiac arrest, <sighs> CPR. Just, hey, guys. Hey, guys. Six, my name's seven, Anna. This eight, is Brian. Nine, what are your names? Nice to meet you. So we've got a 42-year-old male who is a witness two, cardiac four, arrest five, with bystander CPR. Seven, eight, 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 We're nine, currently ten, one, in two, refractory four, ventricular five, fibrillation. Can I get you to start an IV? Can I get you to set up the four, intubation rule for my partner? Seven, and you're going to take over nine, compressions nine, in just a moment. Two breaths. Two breaths. End title's good. Compression ratio is excellent. Good teamwork, guys. All right, we've got approximately 30 seconds left until our next analysis. Epinephrine. 1 in 10,000. 2017-0101. Sharp is away. We're safe. IV has now been established. So you're going to be timing your epi as well as your amniodarone. Okay. okay, analyzing, I see ventricular fibrillation. Back on the chest, on the chest. I'm going to get you to switch out with compressions. Okay, guys. Okay, everyone's clear, nobody's touching, clear. shocking. Back on the chest. Okay, guys. So, patient is not responding to epinephrine, is not responding to defibrillation. I am going to patch to get an order for double sequential external defibrillation. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Yep. Calculating. Okay, we've got 53 seconds left until our next analysis. Thanks. Hello, Dr. Verbeek. This is Anna Everett calling from Toronto Paramedic Services. OASIS is 15950. 
Run number is 444777. Medical stat patch for double sequential external defibrillation. I have a 42-year-old male, witness cardiac arrest, who is in refractory ventricular fibrillation, good upfront bystander CPR after witness cardiac arrest. We have had five shocks total. We've got a second crew on scene. We have a second defibrillator. Epi has been administered as well as amniodarone. Patient is intubated and IV established. Do I have that order? Yes. Okay, analyzing. I see ventricular fibrillation. Back on the chest. On the chest. I'm going to get you to switch out with compressions. Okay, guys. Okay, everyone's clear. Don't Both pads are going to be placed on, on the, the patient. Okay, Both defibrillators. 200 joule settings, one operator, and we're going to shock the patient simultaneously. Yes, I have a crew member setting that up for me now. Excellent work, guys. One minute, 10 seconds until our next analysis. Wonderful transition, guys. The application of DSED or DSED is simple. The CPR accelerometer or CPR puck is removed and the anterior pad is applied. The puck is then reapplied on top of the anterior pad. The patient is rolled over and the posterior pad is applied. You will notice that interruptions in CPR are minimized throughout this procedure. Yes, we've got both defibs, dual to 200. Both sets of pads have been placed on the patient. Excellent CPR. Our next analysis is less than 30 seconds. So 10 seconds until our next analysis. One operator, please. Ventricular fibrillation is being seen on both monitors. Back on the chest. Okay, everybody clear? Clear. One, two, three. Excellent, thank you. Back on the chest, let's switch compressors, please. Every two minutes. We're almost at our next analysis. Stop compressions, please. Okay, I see an organized rhythm. Please check for mechanical output. Okay. I do have a carotid pulse. Excellent work, guys. So, we have a patient who has a return of spontaneous circulation at 1223. Double sequential external defibrillation has worked. Guys, what I'm going to get you to do is to do the return of spontaneous medical directive. Mm -hmm. We're going to fully assess the patient and get ourselves packed and up and get to the hospital. Thank you so much, doctor. Anna out. So where do we go from here with double sequential external defibrillation? It's an exciting technology and treatment for patients with refractory VF. But really, at currently, there's no randomized trials that prove that double sequential external defibrillation is better than our current treatment. We encourage paramedics uh, to perform this in cases of refractory VF so that we can collect case series data to actually further uh, investigate uh, the use of double sequential external defibrillation on a regular basis.